Hi, I'm Daniel Reznicek from Pacific Northwest Urology, and today I'm going to be answering the question, what is an ESWL? ESWL stands for Extracorporeal Shockwave Lithotripsy. Extracorporeal meaning procedure performed outside the body, shockwave meaning generation of a pressure wave, and lithotripsy, procedure to break up a stone. What exactly does that mean? A typical lithotripsy machine has several key components. First, an imaging system to help identify the stone, here seen with fluoroscopy or the use of x-ray. And second, a shockwave generator, also usually accompanied with a lens to help focus the energy to the stone itself. Here you can see we've identified the stones by fluoroscopy. The shockwave generator is then placed alongside the patient and shocks are delivered. The stones are intermittently monitored to ensure that they have not moved and that fragmentation has been sufficient. As walls can be used to treat kidney stones ranging from very small all the way up to two centimeters in size. Although the larger the stone fragments, the more likelihood there is of needing multiple procedures. Extracorporeal shockwave lithotripsy can be performed in the kidney or the ureter. Eswalt is the least invasive method for treating kidney stones. However, in some situations, it is not effective. Some very dense stones, such as cysteine stones, are not able to be broken up by extracorporeal shockwave lithotripsy. Patient size is also a factor. The shockwave is less effective the farther distance it has to travel. So the larger the patient, the less effective the shockwave is by the time it reaches the stone. Extracorporeal shockwave lithotripsy may be combined with other procedures such as a ureteral stent. Please see our video on stents for more information. Although non-invasive, extracorporeal shockwave lithotripsy is not without risks. Risks include bleeding in and around the kidney, infections, and pain when passing kidney stone fragments. Rare complications have been described after multiple procedures, including the risk of developing hypertension and rarely renal failure. 